With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The given question says that write equations for the following statements. So we are given these statements and we are supposed to write down equations for these statements. So let's read what is there in the first part of the question. The sum of numbers, the sum of numbers x and 4 is 9. So if I write down this in an equation form, what I will write is sum means addition. Addition of x and 4 will be x plus 4 and this is 9. So this is what the first part of the question says. Now let's move to the second part. The second part of the question. In the second part, we are in the question says that the difference, the difference between y and 2 is 8. Now, in this question, we are given the difference between y and 2 and that is 8. Now, when I write difference between y and 2, I can write it in two ways. Either I can subtract 2 from y or I can subtract y from 2. And the question says that this difference is equal to 8. So, there will be two equations either this one or this one that the difference is 8. Now let's move to the next part. Third part. The third part of the question says 10 times A is 70. 10 times A is 70. So 10 times A means 10 multiplied by A. 10 multiplied by A is 70 which means 10a is equals to 70 now this is the equation that this is the equation that represents the third part of the question now let's move to the fourth part the fourth part says that the number b there is a number b which is divided by 5 and this gives 6 so this will be written as b b divided by 5 gives 6 that is equal to 6. So this is the equation that represents fourth part of the question. Now let's move to the fifth part. The fifth part of the question says that 3 fourth of t is 15. 3 fourth means 3 divided by 4 of t. So this will be written as 3 fourth of that is multiplication t is equal to 15. So this will, this is equal to 15. On simplifying it further, we will get 3t divided by 4 is equals to 15. Now let's move to the next part that is sixth part. In the sixth part, there is 7 times m. 7 times m means 7 multiplied by m plus 7 gets you 77. So if I write it in an equation form, I will write it as 7 times 7 multiplied by m plus 7 will give me 77. So this will be equal to 77. This 7 multiplied by m will be written as 7m plus 7 is equal to 77. So this is the equation representing sixth part of the question. Let's move to the seventh part. In the seventh part of the question, the question says that 1 fourth of a number minus 4 gives 4. So, one-fourth of a number, any number, minus 4 gives 4. So, let the number to be x. So, we can write one-fourth of the number as one-fourth of the number. Let it, let's call that number to be x. So, one-fourth of the number minus 4, minus means subtraction 4 is equal, gives 4. So, we will have the equation as x divided by 4 minus 4 is equal to 4. Now, let's move to the 8th part of the question. The 8th part says that if you take away 6 from 6 times y, you get 60. So, we have 6 times y. If we take away 6, that means subtract 6 from 6 times y. We have 6 times y. If we take away 6, that is subtract 6 from 6 times y, we will get 60. That means this will be equal to 60. So this can also be written as 6y minus 6 is equal to 60. This is the equation representing 
eighth part of the question. Now let's move to the ninth part of the question. The ninth part of the question says that if you add three to one third of z, you get thirty. So what there is one third of z, and you add three to it, and you will get thirty. So writing it in equation form, the statement in equation form. If you add three to one third of z, you will get you will get thirty. So this will be equal to thirty. So this is the equation that represents ninth part of the question. That's all. Thank you. For class six to twelve, ITG and NEET level, trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.